Hello everyone and welcome to our first team spotlight here from the Swiss Esports League. Tonight I'm joined by none other than Mimi7. Mimi, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Mimi7, the main tank for Silent Gaming. So Mimi7 is uh, a known player in the Swiss scene, has played ever since the game started pretty much, was part of the World Cup team and now obviously still is with Silent Gaming who will once again uh, take part in the spring season of the Swiss Esports League. Now, Mimi, we've seen a lot of 3-3, also known as GOATs, but recently there has been some changes and we might see one of your favorite animals, isn't that so? It is, yes. So, after the GOATs nerfs, we saw especially in the ladder a lot of changes. Like, almost no one is playing GOATs anymore. Mostly the players play DPS heroes and uh, hamster in, in ranked. But I think in the team game, like if you watch the Overwatch League, for example, you almost see only goats. Like it doesn't didn't change that much. But I think on the lower levels, like on tier 3 level or even lower, you have a little bit more of variety now. So we saw the bunk comp with Orisa and Roadhog and like Bastion, Baptiste and Torbjorn or something like that. Turns out to be really strong on defense because it takes a team to be on sync and combine their ultimates like really effective to be able to break the defensive. So bunker comp will be a very strong comp on defense to beat. And like you said, the triple DPS with Hamster or even a D.Va instead of the third DPS will be very strong as well. Because you have that freedom, you are not stuck together like you are in Bunker or Goats. You can uh, move around as you, watch, as you want and if you get a pick, it basically means to fight. But uh, Goats is still Goats, it forces you to play together, it has a lot of HP, more room for mistakes, it will still be uh, very strong. Goats definitely not dead yet, for some that's definitely cool, <laughs> for, for some that's not, but with that being said, uh, is there any team you look out for the most with the DPS fix or even Goats, like what team do you think is going to be your strongest opponent in the next season? So, in the last season, we had Team Sir, which was uh, really strong, but sadly they disbanded and uh, they have uh, new players now. Uh, but for the upcoming season, I think March Marmots will be our strongest opponents. We just played against them and they turned out to be really strong. We will face them in the Swiss Gaming uh, Challenge Final again and I'm really excited how the outcome will be. Yeah, really excited. Um, a competitor to Silent Gaming is always something nice to see from a viewer's perspective, but also yeah, from a player definitely. perspective. Now, that being said, you had a good run so far. I think you've, you're, you're unbeaten the last four seasons. Uh, has there been anything different for the season that you did in preparation? Or did you do pretty much everything the same way? Yeah, I wouldn't say we did something different, we just screamed, but I can tell you that we tried out a lot of comps, like especially non-GOATS comps, because <laughs> GOATS was meta for one year and every team should have like their GOATS experience. So we played a bit around with uh, certain compositions and I can tell you that we have some really special strats in coming for the next season. Yeah, special threats. Uh, I love to see them, especially when you get streamed. So keep them for the streams, please. Now, that being <laughs> said, do you have any last words for fans out there, followers, or also your competitors and enemies? Uh, only one thing watch us dominate the league. <laughs> watch us dominate the league is what Mimi said. Now, we're gonna have more team spotlights, so keep on track with our social media and make sure to hit the follow button on Twitter because there are gonna be streamed games and the season starts next week. Now, that has been me, Sharper, and Mimi, the main tank for Silent Gaming, and we will see you live on stream. <laughs>